Hello all, um, James over at the Orange Store, for those who don't recognize me, uh, I do a lot, behind the scenes, I do a lot of the, uh, the ordering, the inventory type stuff between uh, the three stores. Uh, for those who recognize me from Orange, you'll see me floating around the store, either cutting fabric up at the register, um, helping you carry out machines, or even cabinet deliveries sometimes when they need a, you know, extra guy type of thing. Um, I want to thank you all for your support and continued support of uh, local business, especially here close at home. Close to home, we have, uh, you know, we might not be the biggest guys on the block, but probably have the biggest hearts. So um, thank you for your continued support there. When I started, it was about not quite two years, maybe a year and three quarters, October of uh, 2015. Um, I knew nothing about this industry at all. I didn't know that this industry was still an industry. Then you don't really tell Paul this, but I didn't really know the job that I was applying for until about halfway through the interview, and I had to kind of re restarted a little bit there. But um, so when I, I came in cold, blind, if you will, I didn't know people sewed to the extent that I learned, and uh, you were all very helpful in the learning curve there, very patient with me, and I appreciate that. Um, I went to school. Uh, college for acting, screenwriting, things of that sort, cinematic type stuff. Uh, film production was what the major was called. Um, graduated a few years ago and uh, I kind of did some moonlighting with the acting and the writing thing while I was here and uh, I had an opportunity come up uh, where the, the moonlight is starting to turn into more of a daybreak. So uh, after this week I will be moving. I'm uh, getting out of here, heading up to Brooklyn to pursue all of that starving artist type of uh, lifestyle for a little bit. Hopefully, it works out well for me, you know. Um, but I want to thank everybody who I met along the way. Like I said, I learned a lot about sewing and quilting and all the the the, the work that not just the craftsmanship, you know, the hard laborious ideas and pairing this color with that and all the cutting things that you guys do but also you know the the art that goes into it and I didn't really have an appreciation for things I might have seen behind me you know until I met all of you and seen all the the passion that you have for it and uh, that was cool that was really cool and I appreciate the opportunity to learn that with you um, a lot of you do it as a hobby, um, but in my time here, there was a lot of charity work, a lot more charity work than I anticipated, whether sewing pillows or uh, pillowcases or blankets for children's hospitals or for the veterans or uh, the work they did with the Days for Girls charity. Um, when you can take something that you really care, you really like to do, something you care about, and channel that passion into something that can better the world, I think that's kind of the dream. Right? That's kind of like what we all hope to do. And uh, it, was, it was a lot. It was crazy to see how the enthusiasm to do all that. Um, with a family business, things run a little bit differently than in the corporate type of environment. Uh, not just among the employees, but I think also your relationship that you have with the customers. Uh, close to home. You know, we they pride we pride ourselves on our dedication to you guys with our service and you know making sure we get things ordered on time so you don't have to wait for items too long you get back to doing the sewing that you love and it's a little wild um I didn't really have this type of work environment ever before but the relate like I said the relationship that builds between the customers and the employees and the employees not just here in Orange but among the other stores and it's not so much of just leaving a job and going somewhere else there's it's corny and a little bit cliche but you know there's a you're working for a family business you feel like you're welcome into part of the family and I appreciate that and uh, I'm gonna miss a lot of you well I'll miss all you know I'll miss all of you um, maybe you'll miss me a little bit we'll see uh, Maybe you'll see me on television sometime if you know the other thing works out well. But I'll 
be back around, floating around here and then. I'm only going to Brooklyn, not that far. So I want to thank everyone in Glastonbury, you know, the kind of home base, if you will, for the other two stores and uh, uh, Southington as well. And, and everyone here that I work with every day, six days a week for, you know, two, almost two years now. You know, we really had a really good thing going, a really tight bond. And that's something I'm going to appreciate and cherish for a while, for a long time. And uh, thank you for, thank you for it, really. And uh, I'll see you around. Take care.